And so, after the shadow boxing of the Dr. Mechanic Cup and other pre-season competitions, the real stuff begins. Time was when spring action of the National Football League seemed to bear little relation to what was going to happen in the white heat of knockout championship summers, which stretched into late September. But those days are long gone amid the condensed inter-county season which sees league position dictating that Division 3 and 4 teams, in the vast majority of cases, are not even competing for the Sam McGuire Cup. Once more, the provincial championships will begin this year on the 7th of April, just one week after the Alliance Football League Divisional Finals. Crow Park could scarcely have come up with tastier fixtures to kick off this year's Football League with Saturday's two Division 1 contest repeats of last year's well-contested All-Ireland semi-finals. Derry will travel to Tralee and they'll probably be without the Lane contingent and this may weaken Mickey Hart's hand against the Kerry side who will include David Clifford and he are always a tough nut to crack in Tralee. Kerry also top the betting at 2-1 to one to take the actual division title. Dublin, who are second favourites for that division title at 3-1, to one, host Mullen, and who hope to include Rory Began despite NFL commitments. There will be no Conor McManus, though, and Vinnie Corey's charges may find not only Saturday, but the whole of Division 1 campaign a long haul. Remember, they just survived at the death last year, and they're 40-1 to one outsiders to win this division, and sit with Roscommon as the two most likely to experience the drop at the end of the league campaign. Ulster's other Division 1 hopefuls, Tyrone, opened their campaign on Sunday in Oma with a contest against a Roscommon side that made a fast start to last year's league and has seemed to thrive in the early season environment. A number of player retirements ensure that Fergal Nolan and Brian Duher may find this a tough opener even on home soil, but should prevail against a Roscommon team who are also tipped for relegation. Dublin disproved the theory that it's not possible to win the All-Ireland title from Division 2. So there is hope for my own Armagh, or even Donegal supporters, who may be dreaming that Jim McGuinness might achieve the same feat in 2024 after their footballing messiah has returned as county manager. Saturday's busy day of Allianz League action has three Ulster counties in Division 2 action, which includes the first of BBC Sport Northern Ireland's eight live stream games this season, as Armagh hosts live in Louth in a derby at the Athletic Grounds. After his side suffered the agony on two occasions last summer, as they were pipped by Derry in the Ulster final before contriving to lose against Monaghan in an epic All-Ireland quarter-final, manager Kieran McGinney has since added ex-Derry forward Conlet Gilligan to the backroom team, that already includes former Kerry great Kieran Donaghy and ex-Armagh skipper Kieran McKeever. Whether Gilligan's arrival can help Armagh achieve overdue silverware remains to be seen, but they will be favours to overcome a loud side now managed by former Dublin defender Ger Brennan after he succeeded Mickey Hart. They are also at 15 to 8 alongside Johnny Gold, joint favourites to take the Division 2 crown. Saturday's first game in Division 2 sees rank outsiders for Manor travelling to Navan to face Tolchin Cup winners Me and Calvin. You may also be in the relegation mix, open up against Kildare at Dr. Cullen Park in Carlow because of the ongoing development work at St. Colonus Park in Newbridge. In truth, in Division 2, there will not be a lot between any of the others outside of the aforementioned Armagh and Donegal, and also Cork, who are ranked third in the betting at 4-1. to one. There will almost be a mini-league between the rest of the teams to battle it out for survival and continued Sam Maguire status. The fight to get promotion from Division 3 will once again be headed by Down under Conor Lafferty, who travelled to Ahram to take on a Wicklow side, who always perform well at the home at their home side venue, but they are favourites for relegation. Lafferty's side missed out on a promotion to Division 2 last season and basically squandered a Super 16 chance. The Mourne County still have to convince us that they can re-establish themselves as a genuine force, and last year's pain may just be the catalyst for this season, and it would see them progress as 11-8 favourites for the Division 3 title to the next rung on the ladder. Antrim will do well to maintain a mid-table position and open up against Limerick, who also look to be mid-table bedfellows. Well, that's it, my roundup. 
uh, for what will be a hectic opening weekend of the football league action. Check out the TV guide for this weekend's action. Thank you.